I'm here with Louis Mandler in his new feature film, In the Eyes of the Killer. That's correct. And it was shot in Idle Meadow, California, which is in the outskirts of Sacramento, is that correct? That is correct. I believe uh, the Delta region. Very, very nice. The tributaries and the waterways. It was beautifully shot, I must say Thank that. You. Thank you. Buddy. It was done in a 24p three chip camera. The cinematographer uh, on it was um, wonderful J.D. Ayers. The cinematographer was actually Ted Coloroso. Ted Coloroso. And, yes. and uh, the, the 24p three chip camera was used in this, which is a high definition that camera. That is correct, yes. Wonderful, wonderful framing, wonderfully shot. Tell us about the experience shooting there. Well, firstly, the, the, the you know technology is at a point now where you can get away with an independent film and you can make it look like it's a real film, so to speak, for a minimal amount of budget. That's where technology's got us, number one. Number two was a wonderful experience, and movies are about locations, and you know the better the location, the better the production value, so to speak. And we had the Delta, we had the water, we had the the. Uh, the hostels and the, the, the vacation homes and whatnot, so it all added to the look, the feel and the production value. It was great. And I've never been to the Delta. It's an amazing area. Unbeknownst to a lot of people, it's like this little mystery in the middle of Sacramento. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. It could be Mississippi, it could be Tennessee, it could be anywhere, but it's California. It's really cool. So we utilized it, and as you saw, it, it added to the movie immensely. It was incredible. I very much enjoyed that, and which is very special is that your brother Costas Manilor also played opposite you, and I love that energy between the two brothers, but yet these two characters were so very, very different, and tell us about that experience. Now, of course, we know that um, you starred in My Big Fat Greek Wedding, and you had this wonderful support of Nia outside there who celebrated your film uh, this eve. How is it working with a fratello, a brother, on a feature film? Well, Costas has been great. He supported me on a couple of my independent film ventures, and um, you know, it's about trust. And you get people like uh, you get. Sometimes you get actors that, let's say, are at a higher level than the director. It's life. It's pecking order. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is having faith and trust. And uh, my brother trusts me when I'm behind the camera because he obviously believes I have some talent. That's great. And uh, that's what's great. He trusted me, I give him direction. The good thing about good actors is, as a director, as a storyteller, you, you, you don't over-direct people with talent. You tell them, this is what I need, fill the moment, there's a lull here, ad-lib here, bring this up, make sure there's a conflict here, and end of story. You walk away and guys like my brother and the uh, and just established uh, craftsmen can just take that direction and make it work. And that's what the glory was. And I think it was very true. Very organic performances, very, very natural. Every single time you saw, you know, someone entering onto sta uh, stage, I'm sorry, it almost was like a play because it was so well done. Each time uh, someone enters into frame, you felt the energy there. You felt them living in the moment. That was very, very good. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the shooting schedule. You shot it all within a month. It was, what, 15 to 20 15 days? 15 days, yeah. 15 days. You compacted it all in that time period, which was amazing, which was, you know, every day you had so many pages of script you had to accomplish. Tell us about the challenges with that. Well, quite simply, hey, Richie, the challenges are that uh, I ended up in hospital. And oh. Because oh. The, Richie, you're not going, are you? I want to say goodbye. All right, I'll be two minutes, brother. Okay. If you don't mind, I'll be two minutes, and I'm Anila, don't let him go, please. Um, sorry. Hey, that's no, that's um, it, it just, uh, just you know, directing and acting and producing and starring is such a tough thing because there's so much to do. And uh, towards the end, I got very ill because it's, I had no sleep and no. Uh, what, was, what did they say? I was dehydrated and had anxiety. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, it's an arduous task. But. Um, in life, you've got to make decisions. I chose to go for it. I did it. And funny enough, my performance as an actor was probably one of my better performances as an actor because I wasn't thinking about it. Because I was so busy doing other things, and then I'd get in, so to speak, the ring and, and just react rather than act. If well, that means anything. That, that means, means a lot at the actor studio in Lee Strasberg. What he had said is more about behavior than acting. Absolutely. And what we saw in this film is wonderful behavior. So let's. Um, conclude this by saying we're very happy to see Louis Mandalore and his feature film. It's one of four, I believe. One of four we did last year. Yes, yes one First. of four that he did last year and 
For more information, of course, they can go onto the website, of course, on Internet Movie Database. It's listed and any other website. As, as KrakatoaFilms.com, Krakatoa as the Indonesian volcano, and uh, LewisMandela.com, obviously. But uh, God bless. Thanks for the support, and thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much for coming in the comments. My pleasure. Works. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Be careful. I'm coming for you.